Hello and welcome. I'm Paul Lee and I'm going to show you how to install the water shader mod by Necro Wizard. And as you can see here, this is the water shader mod working nicely with this custom texture pack. The water ripples, it reflects the world, it looks amazing. And that cow's having some fun over there. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Minecraft forums and find the water shader mod post or otherwise just open up my description underneath this video and there'll be links there to where you need to go. And we're going to scroll down on here and we have a download. In fact we have two. In fact there's actually four but we're not messing with the mod loader we're doing it manually. So you can download it or download it with an advertisement. The advertisement just means you help trying to support the creator of this mod, that's all. So once you have it downloaded, you will want to open it up, give it an extract to the desktop or wherever you want to do it, it's not really a problem, like I have here. Let's get that open and resized up. We'll then want to navigate to the C drive users your username for the computer and if app data isn't showing up here you'll want to hit organize depending on which version of window you use folders and search options view and make sure under hidden files and folders make sure show hidden files folders and drives is ticked and then hit apply and OK so we're gonna keep going through app data roaming to the Minecraft folder and we want to go straight into the bin. Now I suggest, in fact I highly recommend doing a backup of your minecraft.jar file. Just copy it, make a folder, whatever you want to call it and just paste it in there as a backup in case anything goes wrong or you would like to revert. So now we have a backup of this we're going to want to open this up and we want to open it with WinRAR. You could use something else such as 7-Zip or Window, uh, WinZip, but we're going to use WinRAR for this. So open it up. And now we want to access this Minecraft folder which was included in the download. And we just want to drag all of this over to here. Hit OK. And now we want to shrink this down, head back to the bin folder, which we're already in, and just copy the shader folder over to here. So the shader folder is in the bin directory, that's where it needs to go. And just double check your Minecraft jar again. If you happen to have a meta underscore inf folder, delete it out, it doesn't need to be there. Although if you use MC Patch or anything like that, it takes care of it. So now that's all done. The only thing left is to uh, start up Minecraft. So as you can see, we've now got the water shader mod installed. It looks fine. It looks great with custom texture packs. It looks great with regular default Minecraft textures. Worth checking out if you haven't seen it yet. One of the most highly recommended mods floating around at the moment, so do check it out. Thank you for watching, please keep your eyes peeled for more tutorials.